Friday night, eight o'clock. That uh, means one thing. It means one thing. What does it mean, Seth? It means guitar safari. Guitar. It's dangerous. <laughs> it right? certainly is. It certainly is. Because you come well, in, you come in thinking that, um, oh, you know, I'm just going to talk about my stuff and whatever, and then and then you end up leaving needing to buy something. <laughs> So that's usually how it goes. I'm like, oh fuck, Ben has that all that's how Ben gets that sound on his oh, he's using those pedals. I can't afford those pedals. Damn it. How do I get those pedals? And then you end up slowly getting them. So and you're just and you're all over the place. Everywhere. What what can you do, right? Can't do it. Can't do it. Well, welcome in everybody. Uh, welcome to Guitar Safari, Seth. Uh, good evening to you, sir. Good evening, Charles. Eddie, Sherman, and he's go. here. Sherman, is <laughs> there he is. What the hell, Charles? This Presley guy's fucking idiot. I know. That's that's why we have you on staff. <laughs> You're such a dick. Yep, Sherman never treats me right. No, sometimes he's nice when no I, one's I, around. He's Presley. I love you. Right. I, I figured out what we need to do with you too. What's that? I, I, I think the Guitar, Guitar Safari Corporation needs to send you off on a team building retreat, you and Sherman. Right. No, I was wondering, can Sherman be a guest on Chatting with Charles? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you should have Sherman and the goat on. They would be fantastic. They could at least cover a half an hour. It all started in China, Charles, just like all these damn guitars. He was actually born next to a guitar factory. Oh, no, I want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> do that like waste for a whole hour might might uh, stretch my abilities but I, I'll, I'll try i'll give it a shot so how you been what's been going on this week uh, um, it, it has just been it, it has been a week of uh of work and uh uh yeah. took off some time today work, with, work. with with the missus and uh, nice okay so we had a nice wrestle day uh, on that on that show, uh, Ben would pay to see that show. By the way, pay to see that show, or we get a super chat for that one. That's great. Okay, let's wait till you go um, till you go public. Is that what they call it in the YouTube <laughs> world when you go oh, over a thousand? Like what? Monetize. You go public. <laughs> I'm going public at five hundred. <laughs> yep. How about you? How how was your week? Um, not bad. I finally got. Um, I've been waiting for paint. When they deliver um, paint to me, apparently, because I live in, um, you know, in Marin County, they uh, don't want to deliver the paint directly to your door and leave mm -hmm. it because they figure if it catch if it blows up and catches on fire that they're liable. So you they send you a thing that says your paint's here, come and get it. And it's not a normal um, post office. It's a weird little strip mall place where you go and then the guy is all confused. Luckily, my wife took care of it for me but she picked up the candy apple red paint which is going on this little guy the little baby guitar is gonna get candy apple red so nice. yeah and i've been finishing the neck of this little baby guitar all week has been in, been getting coat after coat of true oil so that's how that's what the maple starts as right and now it's all finished or not completely but look at that Shadoy. Shiny. Ooh, well, it's also like you can see the wood grain move, and then the mm -hmm. rosewood is really good. Now, mind you, that's glossier than it's going to be. I'm going to I'm going to um, buff it back. It's just piled on there right now, especially on the rosewood side. New headstock needs a logo, and then we're good to go. Go. Mm -hmm. So that's what I've been doing, man. I've been a busy boy. Oh, and I got one more thing back here. I want to show oh, yeah, off. Sure. We can, we can, well, should we show it off now or you want to wait for a minute? Well, I mean, uh, we can do it either way. Which would you rather? Um, let's wait for a minute because it's exciting and fun. Yeah, that can keep in the suspense. Sure, why not? Whoa, whoa. All right, well, let, let's examine who we've got in our chat, right? Yeah, please. So, uh, who came by? So we've got Paul McNary and all the cats. Half are watching on your channel, half are watching on my oh, channel. Nice. They're hanging out with Mustafa. I That's could not right. get yeah, out I, I like Paul's style. He gets full channels going and, and has the cats line up in front of the TV. Has them yeah. hitting the, the like button. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 
They're, they're, they're yeah. prominent. That's why you keep seeing a like and cut, go and come away because they keep hitting the like button over and over again. You got to get them all their individual channels and they get up to 500. <laughs> so we got Paul McNary and all the cats. We've got Big Wave Dave. Big Wave Dave, small trophy Seth. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got GTR1952 Gary, who has made it in for a Friday night show. Usually what he's kind of tied up, so he made it in. Appreciate that. Well, who's he tied up by? That sounds kinky. You know, the, you know that's personal? I'm just saying, if you're, you're all going. tied up, it could, could be a glorious evening. I mean, it depends oh on my. who's got you tied up. Mm -hmm. This is true. And we've got our music and law Ryan Hall in the chat saying what? hello to everybody. And Keith H is here. What up, Keith? Yeah, Keith H is here, followed by Wayne McConnell. Wiggity Wayne in the house in the hizzy hizzy. What and up, Wayne? Martian Murray is here. Uh, Wayne McConnell is from California. Am I right? I think hmm. so. We'll let Wayne answer that. I'm not sure. I think Wayne McConnell is from the Bay Area of California. In Mazone. I think Wayne's in Mazone. Uh, well, so Wayne is here. Martian Murray is here. Martian Murray somewhere in the chat was asking if, if I was going to San Antonio for Fiesta. Uh, don't know about that, but I am in San Antonio tomorrow for a couple hours. Oh, well, that's cool, man. That's, I mean. Uh, well, not really for the reason I'm going. But <laughs> Oh, well, you could probably hit. It depends on what time you get off. You could hit some kind of cool store on the way home. Yeah. Maybe and make it worth the journey. Or if you're driving in, you could check out what's on Craigslist before you go. Since you're driving, mm -hmm. hit the Craigslist. That's, that's I mean, the, I might have done a, a, a marketplace preview. That's what I figured. Yeah, my marketplace preview. See what's in town. Yeah. Yeah. And so our buddy Ben Coons <clears> is in the <throat> chat as well. Welcome in. Well, I saw Ben hanging out, man. What up, Ben? You're the man. Yeah. And he was followed by Hip Metalworks. Hip, hip. What up, dude? Vox okay. Guitar Rocks is already answering our question of our theme. Awesome. Okay. All right. Let's, let's hear what people have to say. We got I, I have a NYC in the chat as well. I'm so sorry to have cut you off. NYC. No, it's okay. I got a theory. I got a theory on, the, on what song to learn. All right. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to hearing this. So Guitar Man 45 is saying hello to both you and me, and I'm sure everyone else in the what chat as well. Up, Boa. Our brother William De Silva is in the chat. I had by. seen oh sorry, go, go ahead. Uh, I, I just want to talk about Bo, because I had seen Bo uh, briefly on your channel. Cause I, you know, I work that day. So that I usually go back, but then when I'm off work on Sunday mm -hmm. is usually wife time. You know, mm -hmm. anyway. So I went and try, and then I uh, got to see him hanging out because I got to stop by the Buffalo meeting. Thank you very much for having mm -hmm. me by. That was amazing. And uh, um, man, what killer equipment! All those amps, and I'm sure that there's. You guys have told me that there's a whole parade of guitars back there. That's sick. I love. Yeah. Um, there, there, there are guitars everywhere there. Yeah, I love it when some people that they know that they once you have you can park your money like that, right? If you've got a substantial amount of savings, why not just park it in some killer equipment? That's not a bad idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we, we've got our buddy Jimmy Bider in the chat. What up, Jimmy? And from sunny Arizona. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. Rico. B. Ah, he did that so well it switched us. Whoa, that was crazy. That was, was just like it blew the world up. Oh, oh. Something just happened, Charles. Whoa, whoa. Hey, um, Rico B sent me a text this week. It was hilarious. Oh, yeah. uh, that he had access to an AI program that will generate a song for you if you plug in some lyrics. All right. He plugged in the beginning lyrics, the first two, you know, lines or four lines out of my song, I Need You Now, and mm -hmm. sent it to me in like four different uh, versions that were, I got to say this, every version of it was good. Oh, really? Like, every version of it was like, oh, man, I think it's because good 
easy, simple lyrics well uh, transfer well in that median, right? Mm. And my, those lyrics were the most simple, silly lyrics that you could think of. But it was really fun. I think on on Wednesday, on playing some Presleys, when I have my um, Spark Amp hooked up with my phone, you know, and I can, uh, you'll hear what's on my phone. I'll play it then. So we'll have it. Uh, we'll have it at least on the inter uh, interwebs because I thought it was Sounds hilarious. It was really good. good. Yeah. So we've got our uh, we got Trev Symmetry in the chat. Welcome in, buddy. Jesus Christ, Charles! It's going to get to be some point where we're not even going to get through the roll. Call. I know it's going to be a half hour. Michael Krause is in the chat, and I'm supposed so to speed it up. No, who was before Michael? Who was before Michael? Michael, who was before Michael? So we got Michael Krause, and before Michael was Symmetry. Symmetry. I'm sorry. I okay. Symmetry. What up, dude? Michael. What up, dude? We're catching up. We're going there. We're going the we're whole way. There. We're getting there. And Blue Mox is in the chat. Oh, hello, that Blue. You're my boy, Blue. You're my boy, Blue. And so, and uh, Ben is telling us that Wayne is is a fellow Canuck, and he is out of British uh, Columbia, according oh. to Wayne himself. Man, so, I'm totally wrong. I thought it Wayne. He's on the right. You had the right coast, just 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 the wrong latitude. That's all. Damn it! I, I should not be standing in here. I got too much <laughs> dust in my studio because I've been working on my guitars. And I got dust and glue and shit everywhere. Well. Let's see. I, th I think we're we may just be have. Uh, I think we've gotten just about everybody. But let me just. Yep. Yep. That covers everyone in the chat. Beautiful, beautiful. So I don't know. What do you think? You want to? You want to do? Uh, you you would play like um, um, horse with no name. I think that's what I said. You should learn first because it's only two chords. But you know, I I will say that uh, horse with no name was a really quick one to learn. I mean, right? not a lot to it. Uh, once you nail the uh, the strumming pattern, it's very satisfying. Right. Well, you um, had a leg up on that because most people don't have um, the experience in other instruments to hit to be able to know it. The you know to, to kind of get those that strum. Mm -hmm. You know, if you played notes in faster sequences, you usually can figure out by listening what you should be strumming, but then people that haven't ever strummed before or played music before, that's a whole new concept of staying on, you know. Um, I think, I, I mean, it's definitely important to learn some chords and have people teach you some chord shapes. Mm -hmm. But equally as important, it is to learn your, um, to learn how to read simple tabs. Mm-hmm. You know, six line tabs that tell you the number that your finger should be on the fret. You know, that is a, a must. Once you have that, then you let your passion drive you to how far do you want to go? Because now you know how to read the map and it can be very confusing or it can be very simple. Yeah, I did a, I did a YouTube guitar lesson, uh, simplified uh, <clears throat> guitar lesson on uh, Simple Man and that was really satisfying as well. Right. You know, so when you're, when you're starting out, you know, you're starting out the gate and you're working on stuff, you know, finding a song that you like, you know, it's, can be a big boost to keep you going. Right. Totally. Ben has a good point. He says 12 bar blues is a must to learn. It's a foundation for so much, right? Give me 12 bar blues and a pentatonic scale and, you know, throw the blues notes in there and you'd be doing great. Mm -hmm. I like having, that. having a lot of fun. Um, and then as soon as it starts to become fun, then you, uh, ha you know, you play a lot more. So your skills go up and up and up. Well, and uh, Vox Guitar Rock says Fly by Night by Rush is a good one as well. He says it's pretty easy. Hmm. So, you know, I, I was thinking about this after, after you and I kind of nailed down the topic, right? Right. You know, and there, there are those songs that, uh, you, you just could be taken in a, a couple different ways, right? They're, they're the songs that you need to know because those are the ones you'd be asked to play, right? So, hence, Freebird was the first thing up in the chat, right? So, probably would be a good idea if you're in a cover band, learn Freebird, right? Okay, because you're going to be asked to play it at one point. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, if you're... But so, so there, there are those, right? And... Then another category, you have the songs <clears throat> that will teach you a skill. 
right? right. That are really good illustration of something. So like Ben's talking about the 12 bar blues, right? Because you know, if you can play 12 bar blues, then you can pretty much play you know 90% of the stuff within the blue genre, right? So you know, you're you're there. And and then there's the stuff that um I think that you absolutely love that it's gonna get you motivated to want to work even harder and to learn more and to play more and keep that guitar in your hand because you're having a good time. That's the, that's what you said it right there. Keep the guitar in your hand because you're having a good time. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of times I feel like, um, and this isn't to sometimes at home when I'm practicing what I'm interested in, which might not sound musical at all to someone who's like, um, you know, who would rather hear a song, Mm -hmm. When you're hearing, you know, scales or triplets or or things practiced, it doesn't sound good. But honest to God, dude, when you if you practice that stuff a lot, the playing comes more natural when you go down to play. When you when you are playing along with a song, if you've really done those fundamental tricks that you need to learn, do the scales, do those triplets, do um, up and down the neck, all your, you know. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff to practice. Yeah, and and those are the things that are hard for you to to push yourself to do and to make it because you're like, I'm not seeing anything out of this, right? It's too hard. It's like blah blah blah. It's you know, too I, hard I, I, is the number yeah. one thing. It's too hard. Yes, it's supposed to be too hard, and you're supposed to push yourself each time. If you're doing those scales and it's not too hard, move on. Go to the harder stuff that is right. too hard. Um, but I knew I know that my wife doesn't want to hear do 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 like these weird scales all day. But I have to really play, and I enjoy doing it for a certain amount of time. Um, so for a half an hour or more, I'll trip out on, I'll choose a, a mode or I'll choose a a key, and I'll play in either of those, and I'll just practice that. I like, you know, I, I like Michael Krause's advice here too. Or listen to a song and follow along with the chords and the lyrics, right? See if you can pick out the chords and <clears throat> play along, you know, with the rhythm of the song, right? Absolutely. If you're once you're experienced to um, intermediate level, and you have a good knowledge of, uh, you know, you like you know pretty much all the chords and you know bar chords and you can play uh, scales up the neck. You should be able to be kind of get the gist of a riff of most songs, rock songs and pop songs, with the exception of confusing stuff, mm -hmm. um, and be playing it before the end of the song. Yeah. You know, at least part of it, or at least be able to get that root note to where you'll know what key it's in, you know? Um, I, I think that that comes, and being able to pick up and play along with any song is something that makes you uh, feel good about yourself, you know, when you can do it. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. So Fox Guitar Rock says that Wild Flower, uh, Wildwood Flower is epic. It says it's he says it's easy or impossible depending on which version you try. <clears throat> right, exactly. Those are the good songs that you can play. The good songs that are super School of Rock is a good example because they take songs that and they strip them down to a drum beat that is literally you can bang it on boom, pop, boom, pop. But the actual song is more advanced than that. But mm -hmm. really, you can strip it down to that fundamental, uh, and it still sounds good and recognizable because it's so familiar. Yeah, you know. It, it, uh, Ryan Hall is chiming in. He he says, "Simple Man's a great song from the old Southern Boys." And I, I I will tell you, I was I was thrilled when I learned to play. You know, the the simplified version of that. Did they have you tune it down? Did you tune down? No. Because the band tunes down. For right, the band tunes down. Uh, the the whole step, uh, half step or whole step. I think it's a whole step by the yeah, by the. The lesson I did it was in standard tuning. Yeah, it was simplified. Which in don't try tuning. to sing it in standard tuning unless you are <laughs> are amazing because it's um yeah it's not easy to try to get you could flub that note but. See, and hip's got a great idea too, right? Can't any kind of campfire tune. It's just, you know, it's just meant to be fun and have a good time. And if you mess it up, who really cares? <laughs> yeah, I don't do campfires anymore, really. I haven't sat at a campfire in so many years. And if I did and somebody handed me a guitar and said, hey, play some campfire songs, I'd be like, no. <laughs> That's only because of that time you fell in. 
really come on <laughs> right no no i i just i don't know why i'd be so kind of pissy but when somebody wants you to play guitar when mm -hmm. you play guitar semi-professionally like i get right. paid to go in and play guitar and teach little kids i'm not doing anything major don't you know get me wrong but when you play guitar semi-professionally then you start to your perspective of somebody saying huh play guitar for me you're like pay me Mm -hmm. You know, uh, same thing with, with Ben, like give that boy a super chat for he's shredding, you know, mm -hmm. uh, on his, on his live streams. Uh, I should super trap more often for those shredding fingers that he has on fire, fire fingers. You've got Canadian fire fingers up there. That's what it is. Oh boy. <laughs> well, Randy is saying pretty much any hit Tom Petty song is, uh, easy and goes over well in the bars. So now, don't get me wrong. I would hand my guitar to them at the campfire, Charles, because I'd be like, <laughs> I'm, I'm probably too buzzed anyways and too much tea. Mm -hmm. I need to not, I'm just going to sit here and be a little bit afraid and in my own head. There you go. Well, and Michael, Michael Krause is saying Dead Flowers is an easy, uh, easier, start, easy starter song as well. Good call. Good call. And Ben's letting us know the cat has shown up. Must nice. have heard my voice. She must Wicked have heard night. my voice. And then the and then the freaking goat yells. God damn it, <laughs> Sherman! Put the goat, put the goat in the in the pen, or at least in the into the van. Put him in the van. Gotta love it. Oh, so Ben Michael wants to know what the cat's name is. <laughs> so make sure you answer that in the chat. Mm -hmm. Roasted Canadian maple. Sorry, so Box Guitar Rocks is saying over the hills is a good learning, uh, good for learning pull-offs. Okay, the good hmm. you know. Yes, right. What over the hills and through the woods to grandmother's house no. we go. We almost made it a half hour, Seth. Almost. Well, almost. You couldn't get me till eight thirty. No. Over the hills and through the woods. Boy, this guitar sure sounds good. I've got two amps. I really should get another pedal. Oh, my. Yep. I do need another pedal. I need a boost. Nope. I, yeah, I know. Not a boost. I need a drive, which is different than a boost. Is it? I don't know. Maybe mm -hmm. it's not. It sounds, mm -hmm. it sounds different. Different word. But Hip says, yup, the key is to push yourself, strive to be better, just like you were talking about a little bit ago, which means yep. I'm probably way behind in the chat. But yeah. you know what? The chat's rolling. The chat's rolling. There's <laughs> words. Mm. Yep. Push yourself oh, and, and, and strive to get better. And just do know <clears throat> that some of those things that are fundamental, boring parts initially will be a lot more fun when it all kind of starts to come together. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and, and I like that when a song has something that's really, you know, it maybe has a lot of it is really easy. And then you got this one tough part. And so you, you know, you're, you come in feeling good with the easy part and then you're like, okay, I'm going to get it this time. I'm <clears throat> going to get it this time. I really totally. <laughs> guitar man <laughs> says one, six minor, four or five. Yep. Rinse and repeat. Very good change position and just call them different things and you've got every song ever written ever written there you go and ben is saying rocky mountain way is a nice and easy one to play as well mm -hmm. gotta love it there's a song that i used to play gosh i forget the the band it was not a very well-known band but it was e minor and g and all i had to do is go back from e minor <laughs> and g and, and the lyric is what carried it what oh Blue Mock says the test is you go on OU812 show and you join in on the Purple Rain rowdy round after a couple hours of rock. <laughs> yeah. Purple Rain, if you can hang with that, right? I can't hang with those. Uh, um, is that in E, Purple? No, it's in F. It's in either A or F because it starts in A and then it ends. The, the main chord is F. <laughs> so what we call the drop, the most powerful chord. Hey, have you ever seen, Charles, the thing where you take a speaker or uh, a, a speaker with a cellophane over it and they put rice on the speaker and then they dial the speaker to different hertz and mm -hmm. the rice forms itself into different geometrical shapes? Yes. I've, I've, yeah. I've yeah. Seen, yeah. What, what the fuck, dude? What is that about, bro? That's heavy duty mystical shit right there. 
it is it is interesting um so you're telling me that if you did it on a big enough scale and those pieces of rice were like blocks of um blocks of big ass stone we're talking huge scale change piece of rice to big ass blocks of stone you could do the right frequency and the shit would build a fucking pyramid bro <laughs> and you know what it is it's it's my power chord that i play like Zoom! but i just did it haven't built the big enough amp that's what the pyramids are they're big ass amps and the tubes blew out that's why they got abandoned it all makes sense they used uh -huh. to yeah, that's the beginning of ACDC. It was in it was in Egypt. Whew, I figured yes, it out. I, and like Ben was, uh, uh, you know, I I am behind in the chat, but I'm having one of those nights where I don't think I really care. We'll get to it. It'll All happen. depends on the key you're in. That's why you need to be able to transpose keys. Uh huh. Well, so I could... Rock, Star Rock says the first one he ever learned is if I was a carpenter. Uh, Martian Marie says, any Nirvana, uh, any Nirvana song, <laughs> learn how yep. to use power goods and chords and dined out distortion. Mm -hmm. That's always fun stuff, too, because you're being loud. Mm -hmm, for sure. <clears throat> oh, I'm old. So what, 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 what else do you think? Uh, you know, so, so I mean, in, in looking at that, right, because I, you know, I kind of give you like these things these three categories right you know yeah. you know so, so, songs that you should learn to play just because everyone's gonna ask you to play i them. mean if you're an adult the songs that teach that teach you fundamental skills right to teach right. You something that you're using on a lot of other songs and then of course the songs that uh that you love that are gonna keep you inspired totally yes and I, it's also about as you're getting on your journey not only songs, you should be going to your equipment and having fun just making cool tones and loud noises, like figuring mm -hmm. out, you know, what kind of drive you like, figuring out, do you like clean more? Do you like to push heavier drive? Well, do you like delay? Do you like phaser? What do you like? What's your deal? And that becomes a big fun part of it, right? When you hit that level, then you're, um, you start to enjoy it more. You spend a little bit more money. But if you buy the right stuff, you can move it around. So, mm -hmm. all right. So, internationally insane studios says, Seth, my songs are super easy to jam with, right? Yeah. Well, certain parts are. Yes. Uh, yeah. And you know, I keep it real with you, brother. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, that their parts are easy, and then other parts are. I feel there's when there's a lot of movement. Like when I'm in a band and we're writing stuff and we're figuring stuff out, if there's a lot going on with other stuff, if keys is busy and bass is busy or whatever, then I might back off. <clears throat> so whenever there's a lot happening, I like to step back and let that happen. So yes, but the uh, I can't wait to hear the blues. I didn't get the blues. You said you emailed it to me, but I didn't get it. But I know you got my email. So we'll figure it out. And uh, this coming Wednesday, hopefully I can jam that blues. That'll be fun. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, do you want to see my new my new um, Telecaster? Yeah, I think that'd be a good time to do that. All right, why, why the hell not? Why not? It's behind here. Um, it needs a little bit of work. <laughs> Does it now? Yeah, it is not done yet. Boy. Because it's made out of two by fours. Oh my! Right, two by four. Ca it's a two by four caster. Oh, so I got my template on there. It's all pretty good. And, and it is redwood. It's, there is a redwood two by four. They so you, so you are taking the plunge into making your own bodies now, huh? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, fuck it. You know, that's um, no big deal. Laminate the boards together, came together pretty well. It needs a little bit of wood filler on the gaps in the back, but I wanted to leave that knot for the center of the back of the guitar. Uh-huh. That'll be like pretty much right in the middle of the back of the guitar. It'll look kind of cool. Um, yeah, so why not, right? Why not yeah. get, in, get into it? You got you to gotta do it to do it, right? So... But I'm not putting this thing back up there. This thing's too. There's about so a third see. of it that I have to cut <laughs> off. 
<laughs> Sadie Lamp Duo, welcome in. He is asking if uh, is anyone performing Marijuanaville in Whipping Post Jam tomorrow? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Marijuanaville. That's going to be a hippie hill in San Francisco tomorrow. Four twenty. Four twenty. Everybody's going to be getting stoned. There you go. Shut up. Oh, speaking of getting stoned. Yeah. So, so well, that's know. something about learning guitar. People, all people should be getting stoned. Yeah. Well, well how they're they, learning guitar. They, of course, why not? It helps. So, um, so the 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 boy, the missus, and I, we all go grab haircuts today, right? Okay. Oh, it does look because good. I was gonna say going, something you know, because we're going to a thing tomorrow. Right. Okay. And and so, you know, the, the haircuts take a little longer than what we're hoping for, and so we're hungry. So we decided, okay, we're gonna go down to the Taco Cabana, and we're gonna mm -hmm. pick up some quesadillas and and a cabana bowl and some margaritas, and we're gonna go home and eat them and relax and have a good time. Yeah. So you know, I'm there in a drive-through window, and I'm ordering the food, and I get to the margaritas, and it says, and I'll have a two lime margaritas and a strawberry margarita, and uh, the voice and, and, and the dude's voice changes immediately, and he goes, dude. If you like alcohol, we serve beer through the window too, <laughs> dude. If you like alcohol, we and serve. so it, it, like I'm laughing, I'm I'm dying laughing. My wife is like, "What?" So the guy's high. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. High. I mean, if you work and at a taco and, place, yeah. And so she's going on about, I don't know if I want some guy that's high doing my food. I said, no, it's gonna be great. You're gonna get are bigger really? portions. Yeah. Are you kidding? He, Hungry. You want them high doing your <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So oh, we man. pull up to the window, and that guy comes to the window, and I'm right. He's he's baked. He's yeah, baked. you can tell. And it was, and it was, and, and, but and, and so, and it just kind of kept going that way, and I'm dying laughing. Oh man, yeah. It, it was, it was, it was, it was just a lot of fun. But they, but they probably forgot something. Oh, they, really, oh, they, oh they, they messed up uh, quite a bit in the order. Instead right. of getting a strawberry margarita, we got a big red margarita. Okay, which which is just awful. It is they take big red soda and they pour it into a margarita. Oh, and so oh. you end up with something that tastes like um, terrible. Just it tastes terrible. like cough. It literally it tastes like cough syrup. Oh, right. Wow. Yeah. So that and and I give them my uh, VA card so we can get the veterans discount. Right. Okay. And and so the, the guy takes the card mm. and he looks at my card and he's reading it and he's like he's you know he hard hard time making out because like he's gone. Right. He's like, okay, VA medical. Oh, you are are, are you a medic? And I'm like, no. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> just give me my D my my and, discount. Let's not go into this. Well, right. So so he did, went through all that. Dude did not give me the discount. Of course not. Yes, so I definitely got my ears lowered, but <laughs> <laughs> extra ten percent for for wasting my time. We uh, just, we but, but it was like at that point, I didn't ID. care because because it was just it was just a hilarious experience, right? At that point, I didn't even care. I was like, okay, what about her business? Just give just give me my food and give me my cough syrup margarita so I can go home and drink it. Probably was cough syrup in there. Uh, Gross. Yeah, you know, it, it might it might as well have been. But the food was good. <laughs> was it? Was it good? Was it edible? It was okay. The, the food, no, the food was delicious. The food, there the you food go. Was delicious. They All got right, that. Right. Give a, you yeah, got thumbs up that, on the that, food. That conversation probably is eventually going to have to happen. I think. Mm -hmm. well, there, and Guitar there. Man Forty Five just wants to make us all jealous because he's going to see King X tomorrow oh. with his daughter. That's amazing, dude. Just, You're an he, awesome. He took his daughter to another concert a, a little while back. She had a great time and like. So now it's their bonding thing, I think. That is amazing. Awesome dad. Uh, one of the students that I work directly with today, her dad is a super cool, nice guy. And he picked up his daughter in their surf van and headed out to the ocean at like two o'clock when they got mm -hmm. off of school. It's like, that is, that's a cool dad, right? Pick, take up your kid and go, let's go surfing. Uh, Michael Krauss Big Red Soda is it is a cherry flavored soda that is just way too sweet. It's like it's, it is it's good like if you shake it up. On right. you know on crack, you shake it up it, and you throw it, it against the curb. When you mix it with a margarita, it tastes like cough syrup for sure. Uh, Big Red when the ghetto, we used to take it and sh uh, shake it up and throw it against the curb until the can get a little spark in it and, the, and it would be squirting out. And then you hold it to your mouth as it squirted out. 
That's how he drank Big Red. Yeah, Big Red Ben is it is it is a Southern pop <laughs> for sure. <laughs> and yes, we also have Big Red, uh, the cinnamon flavored gum here as well. But yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. No, not that. Yeah, we had Big Red soda in California in where I, where I was. Raised. Martian Marie, I I'm, I'm sorry, I have to really disagree with that. I do not care for Big Red. <laughs> And guess who got stuck with the big? I'm going to go ahead and say with, that with, with, with the big red margarita. Oh, uh, who? who you did? I, I did because my son okay. tried it and he's like, "Dad, I can't." I was like, "Just give it up." Because he wanted but a strawberry margarita. I remember right? it being delicious too, uh, c coming out in as like a spray. It was so sweet; it was almost like licking a lollipop. So it's probably good in that sense. It's just super sugary, like a cream soda with some cherry flavoring, kind of is what I think it is, pretty much. Right? Mm -hmm. Waco, Texas, huh? Wow. It, it, it is a Texas soda. And uh, how far are you from Waco? Well, Waco is actually the home of uh, Dr. Pepper. Right. I, I don't know if it's the home of Big Red as well, but Big Red is definitely a Southern soda, and it very well could be a Texas soda. Hmm. But Waco, Texas also has a yeah. um, an amazing wave pool in Waco, Texas. That's a big deal for all the surfers. Is the bit one of the best wave pools? Oh, in, there you go. Is in good old Waco. Yum yum. <sighs> now a Big Mac costs ten dollars. Wow. Workers oh make 20 bucks an hour. That's true. In California, they make 20 bucks an hour and they're all stoned. Yep. Mm hmm. That's the way you do it. Although I think this is that now that they're paying the employees 20 bucks an hour, mm -hmm. they're going to thin it down to the cream of the crop. If you're not cutting it, you're out of here. It's not going to be like overstaffing like it used to be. I oh, just hire as many minions as we need and just rob them run. But now it's going to be like, all right, got to have only obedient minions and everybody else gets fired because we're not paying them 20 bucks to do nothing. There you go. Well, this is why I love Sean Hockey, right? Because here he comes in. He's He's got his song suggestion, right? Yes, yes. He thinks everyone should learn Iron Man, right? Because power yep. chords, heavy metal, takes us in a completely different direction. So totally. now, now I just have to try it, right? Well, for me, I was playing heavy metal was before I wanted to do chords and wanted to play other songs. I wanted to just shred. Yep. Oh, check my email. Well, all right. We'll probably do it Wednesday, but I'll check it right now. Um. Yep. So I'm stoked. I'm going to be able to, I brought that uh, two by four body home with me. I sent my um, email to the uh, headstock decal company in the UK, Rothko and Frost. Uh -huh. to, because they, back in the day, I used to get my headstock decals on a, on a sheet by bulk, you know, right. and they, they were, you know, they were affordable. And then they went to not doing the sheet. They do them two at a time for $14. So $7 each. Yeah. That and, was a change in the deal, huh? You know, I mean, that just doesn't really work for me. Um, at being at this level. Um, no, bro. I'll, you know what? Let me check my, I'll check my spam later international and I'll text. Hold on. You we have an announcement to make. I'm sorry, Seth. But you know, go for it. Yeah. Jay Santiago is going to be posting his first YouTube video later tonight. It's showing yes. his technique for playing guitar, uh, playing a sitar noise on a guitar without effects or gadgets. It should be interesting, so check it out. Absolutely. That's very cool, Jay. And Jay, I mean, any, any idea on the time when that might be posted? Yeah, you got to do one of those AI-generated thumbnail to impress us. No, don't worry about it. Just post something. That's why. That's what we had to do, hun Charles, because we were like, mm -hmm. oh, "Should we do it? Can we do it?" And it's just got to just do it and not and just because we have so much fun. Like, if, um, if you build it, eventually somebody will come. They come and hang out, even on playing they some might press leads. Stay. They might not stay. <laughs> they don't stay long playing some press leads. They come in and they're like, "Oops, I got here. Oh, I'm out of here." And 
they're gone. But that's cool. At least they stopped by and said, what's up to Mustafa? I cannot still not find my way out of here. He's still stuck. So Boomster Back a Black Hat did a cover of Iron Man in a Nazi tribute back in 1985. Oh, wow. Gotta love it. No, totally. Hey, anybody over on Press League Customs, make sure to come over to Char uh, Charles's channel to chat. And make sure to like and subscribe to Charles's <laughs> channel. I love Jay's answer. We asked him what it's going to be on. He says, after I'm drunk, about four hours, maybe sooner. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Dude, don't worry Iron about Man it, Jay. You says, got he this. Care. He's going to check that out. <laughs> you know, you got this, Jay. I like Jay's comeback story, too. Like, he's got he's got it going back together. And you know, sometimes the road gets bumpy, and you just strap in and just, you know, work and do it, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, Ben was funny because he had a comment a little while ago. It says, you know, Domino's card, you know, Domino's car drove by a little bit and now yep. he wanted pizza so the guy who doesn't like the digitals is installing the domino's app on his phone hey <laughs> if there was ever anything that was going to push our boy into the digital era is going to be something delicious <laughs> or if they start to have weed delivery there he, he might have to uh, subscribe to that because that's a thing uh, did i not oh tick tock follow sean that I think I did, but I'm not. Am I terrible on TikTok or what? I did one. I posted the, I posted the weird thing, uh, or no, I just posted the short with my guitar being in the freezer. But uh, yeah, I did get your TikTok follow. I don't think I have any followers on TikTok. Somebody told me you got to be on TikTok. If you're on YouTube and you're doing anything on YouTube, you definitely got to be on TikTok. Well, I don't know. I might not be a TikToker, but I had to try it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can yep, they like already deliver a weed. A for a minute? Oh, absolutely. Yep. So Ben's just saying that uh, they already deliver uh, in his area, which is, yeah, totally. Um... <clears throat> oh, wait, hold on. Oops. They already deliver in his, around his area. Ah, this go. is delivering freshness and goodness to my soul. It's Lipton tea. It's special Lipton tea. Guitar Man says, I'll be working on my medley after the pizza. What? Yes, that's amazing. Of different songs that you're going to shred. Uh, mm -hmm. Ryan Hall says, Jay Santiago, awesome brother. That's great. Can't wait. Just uh, make sure that you make it uh, not for private. No shit, Ryan. The other week I posted all of my shorts after the video like i commonly do or you know after day after i post a bunch of shorts and uh like something happened with my settings and they all went to private and i was all depressed like normally after a couple of hours after posting my shorts i've got you know a thousand views or something like that and uh there was like zero views and i was like oh youtube decided they don't like me anymore my algorithm is off and i went back and looked at the postings and they were all posted private out of the blue that was kind wow. of but but once i reopened them up um one of them went to six thousand views which was my most viewed um short ever it was i forget what it was it was stupid but that's the way that my shorts roll they are dumb somebody said lol which is a lot of people um that's one of the most common comments on this show charles because mm -hmm. people just cannot they're just like Like, uh oh, Chris, you're not that funny. You don't have jokes. I was like, I got jokes, Sherman. I got jokes. I got guitar jokes. Guess how many strings are on a five string guitar? Four plus one. That's why I'm not a comedian because I got good rhythm, but I don't have good ideas. Yep. Sadie Lance Duo said that I had to replace, uh, what is that? Tie rods on a Chevy after crossing oh. Louisiana. Yep, that's crazy. Had to sell the Les Paul. Bummer. Uh, making pizza. Yes, we had pizza last night. We're going out for dinner tonight. I have a dinner date. I actually got a um, super hot chick to go on a date with me, Charles. 
she's my wife. It's great. I hope so. Hope so. Yeah. She's tall and she's beautiful, and she might even make it to dinner tonight. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Jay Santiago said, Sorry if I'm talking about is rude, but if I actually stop being lazy, dude, don't, it's not being rude. That's I'm talking. Mm -hmm. I guess we did feel that way too. If we were saying like, oh, we shouldn't be promoting guitar safari in Tony's chat or anything like that. Right. No, well, but, see, we're, we're here, but we are here for the community, right? So right, you're doing yeah. something, let us know. We want to know. Because of the community for the community, we will, uh, visit it i think i need to uh, make sure that i'm subscribed and hit the bell which all of you guys should try to all you know i know it's hard because it, youtube doesn't make it easy always to search out your friends mm -hmm. um so when you have the opportunity like and subscribe to anybody who's your friend's channel i started kind of um releasing the gate i guess as it were as far as subscriptions go because i used to be very um hesitant before i would subscribe to someone's channel like i'd be like eh, you really gotta have me one over right before i'm gonna go ahead but now i'm gonna subscribe if i see something i like almost as if like it's a tag to go back later right and right. really dive in and see if i if i like it so i've been subscribing to a lot more channels lately yeah, hit that bell. That's what Rico says. Hit the bell. Hit the thumbs up on both of our channels. Go to mine. Yeah. Starting 17 different strains this outdoor. Whoa. Oh, that's very cool. Um, I used to be big time into that kind of uh, horticul horticulture that is very interesting and so much fun. Like um, all outdoor. So here's the thing. Um, boom, hey, Boomster. Oh, on, Seth, I'm sorry. Jay, yeah. if you would go to... Uh, just grab my email off the channel and send your, your YouTube channel to me because I'm having trouble finding it. And I will post the, your, your, your channel link in the chat. Great. That way someone can just go there and click on it and become a member quite easily. Um, uh, Boomstick, I was saying, if you have a spot outdoors that has a a shed nearby put a couple of those babies on rollers and as soon as they get to a good point um you could make that shed um you know kind of sunproof and start running them 12 and 12 a little bit earlier if you know what i mean as soon mm -hmm. as they get to a good um level then just as long as that shed is in just you have to do the rolling them in and out just do two or three of them i think you'll like the the early 12 and 12 version of outdoor stuff Mm -hmm, mm hmm. Takes a lot of effort, though. You do have to be around unless you got like someone to do it for you. Oh, yeah. The deck. That's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Mm -hmm. My brother had the perfect deck that caught the sunlight that when the, when the sunlight would set, it would hit the bay water in the San Francisco Bay and reflect up to where he had his horticulture. It was amazing. And that was just really made everything thrive. A greenhouse will also help. We are way off of the guitar topic, but we got into the subject that I do know. So I had to start to talk about the horticulture topic. Mm -hmm. mm. T's gone you. cool, not wondering it, why. It, it, was, it was part of the topic, one of the topics that was brought up in the show earlier. So why not, right? Yeah, why not, right? And this is people that people are interested in this, and I'm. It's a very interesting thing. It's a lot like. A lot like guitars in the way that one thing here affects other things down the road, right? Then there's a lot of cool, a lot of cool things that you can do to express yourself when doing that kind of stuff. And also it's communing, you know, hippie way to say it, but communing with nature, like you're doing something with a living organism that is amazing and is alive here and we get to use it and it, it help, you know. So it's a good it's a good thing all the way around, even for planting potatoes. 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 There's Jay's. <laughs> and we have Jay Santiago's YouTube channel in the chat. Thanks to Brother Ben Coombs. Oh, thank you, Ben. Appreciate that. With the digitals. Look, he downloaded that app and it made him a freaking digital wizard. It, He's it, like, it, ah. He was just magic. For sure. Copy paste, copy paste everywhere he goes from now on. He's gonna have to do the QR code just because it's there and like download <laughs> it. And, ha, ha, downloaded the menu. Ha. Oh, that's awesome. So, 
So Trev is saying the mushroom dispensary is giving away a free clone of Pontiac tomorrow for 420. Nice. All right. okay. And Michael Krause says you can grow up to six plants per adult where he is. Oh my. Yep. I think it's 12 here in California. I think it might vary county to county, but whatever it is, it's so lax that you know you can get a you know, it's very uh -oh. lax. There's a weed. 45 is in trouble, Seth. Uh oh. He saw this awesome heritage H 150 today. And mm -hmm. just put an itch in him. He's, That'll he's, do it. Get an itch and it's uh, he's just, getting ready to scratch, I think. Just parking money, so don't worry about it. So that's great. Yeah, yeah heritage, <laughs> nice stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> that's right, Ben. You did it to yourself. So Sean Hockey wants to know who who in the chat is from Cleveland other than him. Hmm. Um, not from Cleveland, but, um, my mother-in-law was, her family was from Detroit. Are they close by each other? Cleveland, they're both motor cities kind of, so they got to be kind of related in some way, but, uh, not from Cleveland, but I do want to get through that part of the country within a RV, checking all the stuff out. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Corey's garden, of course, you know, when you're well, you know, famous right. garden, right? He's got a greenhouse gifted to him showing up. So sometime this summer, once he gets a chance of some time off, he's got five weeks of holidays in the bank. So uh that's enough time. To do there. Stuff. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Five weeks. <sighs> Cleveland rocks. Mm-hmm. A lot of good music came out of Cleveland, if I'm not wrong. Oh, Ben is not that far. One, four to five hours. That's like road trippable, especially if you uh, met like two hour, two and a half hours in and then went somewhere cool and then drove back down and oh. made it an adventure. Mm hmm. Boom. Okay. I may mean, need to repost that link. Hold on. Why did it disappear? No, it is uh, not someone in the chat said it wouldn't oh, work. It's not a live right? link. It yeah. Either, yeah, it might not be a live link. Somebody would have to, and um, probably can't copy and paste from the chat either. Maybe you can. Well, I don't no, know. I, um, Ben had uh, messengered it to me, but it's when when you put it in, it doesn't work. Mm hmm. I definitely want to get up to Toronto area. I've heard that that is so beautiful up there and clean and like people are pretty cool. As long as you don't tell them you're American, like I can do that. I can, I can tell them, you know, I think if you tell them that you're Californian, you might get a pass. Am I right, Ben? I don't know. What? Um, like when you go up there, cause I, I know that Americans, Americans must be hated a lot of places. <clears throat> just for being American. It's just it's a thing. We're terrible. Not me, personally. I'm I'm a really good human being. Yep. Oh, wow. Three hours? Yeah, by airplane. Ha ha. But I, uh, Rico says I'm not too far away from him. But I am going to be going out Rico's way. So we will probably hang out at some point. And Rico's a world traveler. Rico gets around. So you let me know when you're coming to Cali, homie. <laughs> yep. Oh my! I think Rico might travel for work because he's always moving around, which is cool. But um, at some point, I decided I didn't want to travel for work anymore. No more cars. No more traveling. Too much. Mm -hmm. So, what do you got going uh, for the rest of the weekend? Uh, what's happening? What are you working on other than your your um, finishing oh, so up? Your, what we would say would be finishing up. A guitar so we're we're going to uh so tomorrow the the family is going to uh a, a funeral of a family friend in san antonio tomorrow oh okay and, uh, but sunday we'll come back and uh i'll do, you know, do we'll do chatting with charles and then we'll go out to the garage and we'll uh try to finish up the charles green guitar beautiful you know, there's a few more things on it that i want to do before i send it out and there's a you mean this one this is, a, this um, is charles green's guitar right here charles how are we going to have it done <laughs> yeah sorry charles green you know what? I've, got, I've got a surprise that i decided that i wanted to add to it too and so that's going to take me a little bit to do um so but i'm hoping that maybe i can get some good time in on sunday and finish it 
Um, I'm also going to be working on the uh, the warlock shaped object. Beautiful. Okay. And so like that's not going to frustrate you at all. No, I I, I got to do a, a little patch on the back um, where something where we went through it went through the fabric when we were going ahead and sanding it down uh, because okay right the clear the clear didn't lay down in, in a certain area right and then I went too far and took off a piece of fabric so I was okay. going to strip the whole back off and redo it no a little swat but in there it discontinued and you can't do that anymore yes. so I, I've got to make a patch and then right. see if I can make that blend seamless and uh, and go from there. And so we'll get back on that. And then there's a telecaster that we're going to do a la Green, a Lee Greenwood for my brother. Okay, <laughs> and then, great. Yeah, yeah. And my office guitar is, is going into rotation uh, unless something else that comes in that that is that is a paid job, right? So. Oh, totally, yeah. Yeah, no, maybe when I cut out one of these bodies um, that's a two-by-four body, I'll send it to you once I got it mastered and got them looking good. Cause you know you could, we could bind it, and um, and cover it. So I, I like the idea of working with um, reclaimed wood, especially for the first few builds. As I make them, you know, as I refine the technique, and then get it down, mm -hmm. and then move on to more expensive woods. Because I don't want to blow it on you know nice stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, Jay, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm just, yeah. If you can go ahead and email that, uh, if you go on the main page there, you go ahead and pull down the information on the top. It'll give you my email address, and you can just send me that YouTube link because the one Ben sent me did not work, and so want to get people over to you. Totally, and we want to check that out. That sitar situation, the sitar on the guitar. That sounds cool. So Internationally Insane Studio says he was taught by the cool Canadians up north in Michigan to steal headfish, right? Super oh, cool yeah. In the early 90s, guy had a ton of knowledge. Uh, finger red, number one. No, he sent me some pictures of all the fish that he used to get. Uh, insane catches. Like, that guy's mm -hmm. a, an angler for sure. He's a wrangling angler. An angling mm -hmm. wrangler. A, a, a wrangler. A smuggler, a drug smuggler. No, a wrangler angler. Oh, okay. Yep. That was weird because when I I did it, it didn't work. And now, okay. So and let's. Play, I'm going to try. This is just as uh, Jay Santiago's channel again. Try that and let me know if that works. See if that is a live link. It doesn't look alive to me. It looks not alive. But you should be able to copy that. And instead of just clicking it, but uh, that makes it that's pretty good shot at it. Uh, give them a chance to get there to the channel. We would like you to rem uh, remember that. By okay, heart. so that one is working this time. So great, it's the same one. I don't know what it is. The digitals, like like Ben likes to say, it's the digitals. It's the digitals. Yep. So that's good, man. Well, I'm sorry you're going to a funeral, but everybody dies. That's just the graduation to the next thing that's happening, right? So it's mm -hmm. good. It's good for them that they're dead because that's something that had to happen. And I mean, unless it happened tragically, Charles, and I'm talking out of my, my neck, but I'm just saying that we're all going to die. And it's kind of a beautiful thing because once you do that, then you're going to get to go do the next thing. So good on you. So that link is working, folks. Go ahead and head on over there. Go ahead and uh, sub subscribe. To Santiago. Hit the bell. Um, I see some of us already have, and make sure you ring the bell so you get a notification when he goes live later. It could be totally. entertaining. Don't hit the notification per se on me because then I post a lot of shorts, <laughs> and then you would be maybe uh, um, annoyed by me if you hit the bell notification. So, and I tend to just post when I'm going to be online so you know when I'm going to be there. But because um, I, you know, I'll do 10 shorts for a show that we do if there's funny stuff like this. <laughs> I'll post it. So yeah, see, I, I like Wayne's style here. He made his first bodies from reclaimed rough cut mahogany from a '66 Chevy quarter pot, quarter panel pallet box. See, beautiful. Yeah, nothing that's... goes to waste. Nothing. Nothing go, and they were using um, mahogany for you, pallet Richard. boxes. That's crazy. Yeah, that's awesome. 
Yeah, and so this was a red. I saw that this was a redwood two by four in the shop. I was like, wow. Well, let's leave, let's use this. Let's see how it goes. So, well, dude, now, now, how is it, how is it on weight? Is it heavy? It's so I really won't be able to tell you accurately until I get rid of the rest of this wood. Right. I don't think that it's I don't think that it's heavy, except for the fact that, like, the, you know, there's a third of it has to be cut off. Yeah. You know, and once I've got a third of it off, I know that um, the two by four is just a tiny, tiny bit thicker than with the actual what they what they um, want you to have, like one mm -hmm. um, one and seven eighths. Right. So it's almost two inches anyway. So. um so two by four is basically perfect for it. Um, yeah. What the hell? Give it a try. <laughs> See how it goes. I'm looking forward to seeing that. I'm looking forward to seeing that. And I don't, I'm not using a router for this one. I'm not going to route the pockets. I'm going to do it the old fashioned way. I'm going to do the um, drill and chisel. Drill and chisel to route will be the, yep. Yeah. A jointer to join. Oh, no, I don't need a jointer to join these boards. You don't. You, they're clamped and jointed. What else? I'm cutting around the edge of it. It's going to be a finished edge. So, well, it's, it's, it's all that places where the board you usually you use, you know, you, once you get, um, well, you're going to need a thickness planer, though. Yeah, that exactly. I would need a thickness planer, is all I need. Yeah, and pass it through zing, zing three times. This didn't get that because we don't have the tool yet. But, um, what you want to do is be able to do it quickly. Like you have to clamp it up, get it done, get it glued, stick it through the thickness, um, sander, zing, zing, it comes out and you're good to go. Um, you don't want to get too caught up in, you know, perfection of making the blank because the blank is, can be manipulated. So guitar man 45 wants to know why, why the drill and the chisel? <laughs> because I don't have the router templates yet. So ah. I figure right before I go crazy with a router and blow it, I'm going to do it by hand. I figure I have the time. So uh, Guitar Man, I'm getting paid to do this. I'm at I'm teaching kids at school and showing them each step that I'm doing. So I'm just learning it a little bit ahead of time and then I'm getting paid. So I might as well do it the slow way and also teach the kids the slow way, you know, and then we'll all use the router later. I need to order some templates from Maximum Guitar Works in Colorado. Charles, I got to go. I got a dinner date. Ah, uh, yeah, you, you do whoa, need to go. Whoa. And so I, guess, I, I mean, she is beautiful. She met my wife. She's hot. And if I'm not there, she'll go with some other guy. I get that. I get that. You you better head out. Uh, let, let's get these folks sent off in the right Dude, way. I want to thank all you guys, but you guys don't want me to lose my hot wife. And then, I, well, maybe you do. And I'm just hanging out all the time. Seth, he started drinking again. He's probably on drugs. <laughs> He's probably on drugs. His wife left him. He just lives above her garage, building Telecasters out of two by fours that aren't even joined properly. Ah, oh, so, boy. I, I love all you guys, and thank you for uh, calling that out, Simtree. I get you. I know, but you know, just we're just doing it, and he, he, blue, 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 blue. we learn something each step of the way. So I love all you guys, Billy, Ryan, Rico, uh, Boomer. Who else? Who else came through? International was hanging out. Sean, Everybody. Dwight, Guitar Man, Bo, Ben, of course, Biggity Ben, Paul John. Mary, Symmetry. Yep. Wayne, Mark. Musical, Ryan Hall, Wayne McConnell, yep. Michael Krause. Charles 75N, Sadie uh, Lamp. Sadie Lamp Duo. Love those guys. Uh, hip. Do we say hip, Paul? Yep. Yeah. Making sure we go back. Guitar wow. Man 19 or GTR 1952 was here. Rico. Guitar Man yeah, man. You guys are all amazing. Thank you so much for um, liking and subscribing to Presley California Customs. All right. Until next week, folks. Until next week, we'll keep talking until Charles hits the button. I'm supposed to keep my mouth.
Slow down.